Each and every day, our bodies are attacked by billions of microscopic invaders. Bacteria, viruses, fungi, and even parasites are found both on and in our bodies. Even frequent bathing doesn't rid us of all these potential disease-causing threats. To put things in perspective, the human colon contains 10 times as many bacterial cells as there are human cells in the entire human body. That's 10 trillion bacterial cells compared with 1 trillion human cells, for those of you who are counting. So humans are basically oversized bacteria buses. Fortunately, our skin and mucosal surfaces provide the first line of defense against these little buggers. Nonetheless, some of these little guys make it into our bloodstream each time we scrape our skin or even when we brush our teeth. As humans have evolved, so have germs. Germs have learned to disguise themselves with genetic mutations so an unchanging defense was no longer enough to protect us against disease. Enter antibodies, tiny little protein complexes designed with millions of different shapes that recognize specific germs. Antibodies are proteins created by white blood cells that float through the bloodstream looking for germs. Each antibody is designed to look for one very specific germ type. Antibodies act like small keys looking for the perfect block. Once they find their target, they alert the remainder of the immune system to mount a full attack. The body has the ability to create new antibodies in response to new infections and even in response to vaccines. So the next time the body encounters a particularly ill-tempered brigade of Streptococcus pneumoniae, it will be ready to mount a courageous defense. Remember to all you sofa doctors out there, diagnosing or treating anyone based on internet videos is generally a bad idea.